to Mr. Daniel Wayne Darling at the Cathedral of Tomorrow, Akron, Ohio. that you brought into my life since God gave us you 22 years ago. We 
were so proud. Yes, it seems like only yesterday we carried you home from the hospital and into our hearts. We've watched you grow into a beautiful young woman that you are today. And what would I desire for you now that you're beginning a new direction in your life? I wish for you happiness and peace within yourself, for new things to learn and experience. But Liz, my greatest desire for you is that you may continue to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be a wonderful wife, I know, just as you've been a wonderful dog. And it's my prayer that one day you'll know the unique happiness that only comes from having a daughter as special as you. Amy Elizabeth, you're never far from our thoughts, and you're forever near in our love. And remember, you're always loved. You're dead. gathered here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God, signifying to us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, to which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. And to this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. I require and charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. And if these solemn vows be kept inviolate, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home which you're establishing will abide in peace. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we have come into your house and into your presence. For you've commanded we acknowledge God in all our ways, and today we come to acknowledge you. And Lord Jesus, we know you're present because at Cana, of Galilee, you were at the marriage feast. Your presence performed miracles that day. We ask that your presence will give the miracle of joining together, not as two, but as one. And Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this room. Thou art welcome to do the ministry and the office work you've been sent into this world to do. In the name of Christ, we bless them and all who are present. Amen. 
Daniel, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together in holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live. I will. Elizabeth, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together in holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so long as you both shall live? Join right hands, and Daniel, will you repeat after me? I, Daniel, take thee, Elizabeth, I, Daniel, take thee, Elizabeth, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for this day, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I plight thee my troth. I plight thee my troth. Elizabeth, will you repeat after me? I, Elizabeth, take thee, Daniel. I, Elizabeth, take thee, Daniel. To be my wedded husband. Mm-hmm. To have and to hold. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I plight thee my troth. I have the rings, please. This ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying unto all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as these rings are endless, may your love to your God be endless and eternal, and may your love one to another be endless and eternal. Daniel, place that on her ring finger, hold it, and repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of the vow between us made. Of the vow between us made. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Elizabeth, place that on his ring finger. Hold it and repeat after me. In token and pledge. In token and Of the vow between us made. With this ring I thee wed, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Let us pray. Precious Holy Spirit, God the Father and Jesus Christ the Son, take note of this moment and hour and this day. For thou hast promised in thy word to bless those who honor you. And today, the best we know how, we have come into this sanctuary to honor you at this most important time in these lives. And now, Holy Spirit, we pray that you will join them together in love. Join them together in faith in their God. And I forbid the evils of this generation to touch this home that God has put together. 
bless them with your presence and with your spirit and with happiness and joy. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen. For as much as Daniel and Elizabeth have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and all of his company and have thereto have pledged their troth each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and by receiving a ring, I pronounce their husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, and those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Amen. Congratulations, Dan. Congratulations. Yes. Turn and face the audience.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Wayne Darling.